Hello there. I'm Richard Riley, spokesman for the Treasury Department of the United States of America. Now, I'm sure that many of you are concerned about our mounting national debt. And so I'm here tonight to answer some questions you may have, like this one. Just how much is the national debt? Well, let's just say it's getting up there. <laughs> but really, it is nothing to worry your pretty little head about, honey. Hey, fella, my wife asked you a question. Now, just how much is the debt? Well, you know, a, a number isn't always the best indicator of a debt anyway. <laughs> but let's just say it's a little more than usual. You know, about four trillion dollars? Four trillion dollars? Now, calm down. I, I bet you've gotten in a little uh, trouble yourself keeping that hot baby yours taken care of. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you really think she's hot? <laughs> She's all right. Now, to a lot of you, a number like four trillion is kind of scary, so I'll try to put it in perspective for you. Just how much is four trillion? Well, for those of you in Houston, it's about how many cans of skull it would take to fill the Astrodome. <laughs> in Palm Springs, it's the number of Avian bottles it would take to fill your pool every year for a lifetime. And for you people in Alabama, it's a very large number indeed. <laughs> uh, now, let's take another question. R Richard, what can I do to help our country? Well, in your case, you could help by moving to Peru. <laughs> but for other more normal folks, there's one simple way to get us out of this mess. By paying more taxes. Now, before you panic, let me explain our creative proposal of supplemental taxes aimed at specific demographics. For example, in New York City, cab drivers will be taxed one dollar for every time they give somebody the finger. That should raise about three million dollars a year. <laughs> and we will tax the Seattle Mariners a dollar every time they win a game. That's gonna bring in about 20 bucks next season. <laughs> But don't you think for a moment that we're not going to tax the wealthy. There will be a one dollar charge for every time a Kennedy man hits on a woman. <laughs> that should bring in about a billion dollars every year. <laughs> now besides taxes, we're exploring other ways to increase revenue. For example, we're planning to rent out some of our art and culture to Canada for a while. And we're considering cutting off improvements to Idaho and seeing if they even notice. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today, but I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for listening. I'm Richard Riley.